Uh, yeah, so it was nice to start with a couple birdies there on, uh, was it three and four? Um, I, uh, I hold a couple of long putts there, which was nice. Um, and uh, yeah, then after that, kind of uh, hit it quite close um, and was just hitting it quite well all day. I had a f um, hit my five hybrid quite a few times today, quite close, which was nice. Um, and then, yeah, did a nice birdie at the 17 there. Um, but yeah, just a few, few nice holes, just one bogey on the card, so that was nice. Uh, but yeah, I was hitting it well yesterday as well, just, just didn't, didn't get it going and a few bad holes, but, um, but yeah, nice to get it going today. And talk, and talk to you about that string of birdies you had coming in um, the front nine. Like, were you just super hyped coming into the back nine? Yeah, I uh, almost birdied 10 as well. Um, so that would have been nice to get a string there. But, um, but yeah, it was nice getting those three birdies to end the, the front nine. Um, so yeah, I had a good cheering squad out there. Um, so three of them were wearing Scottish dresses. So that was fun. Um, that's definitely inspired me. So yeah, it was just a, just a fun day overall. And you mentioned to you struggled a little bit yesterday and then the end of Annika as well. What what has been kind of the, was there a mindset change headed into today or just everything kind of clicked? It just kind of clicked. I was I was very tired last week after uh, that stretching in, in Asia. Um, so I was just kind of running on a, some gas there. But um, but yeah, starting to get some energy back. Obviously, the Wednesday we had off. So that was quite nice, actually, for us that we're all in Asia. And it's been a quite long stretch of events. So. Um, but yeah, just getting, getting the energy back and um, hopefully a later tea time tomorrow now. <laughs> and you had a really solid title defense at, in Japan. Just talk to, that's your first title defense, right? And yep. Just talk to like how tiring that can be that week and how much of like, how much pressure you have. Yeah, it's a lot of mental energy, obviously um, a lot more media commitments um, as a defending champion. And then, um, you know, being in the kind of the, the final group on the first day a lot lots of crowds which I love uh, but yeah it does take it take it out of you mentally and um, I obviously got close to defending as well which was nice it was a nice 65 on the final day there so um, it was all good fun but yeah it does take it out of you and then the travel back and stuff so it all adds up all good things all good things yes. and then last question too we're at the last event of the year just talk about your year as a whole and maybe some of your best memory or some of your highlights from this year that you really think back on? Yeah, it's been an amazing year. I mean, Solheim has to be a highlight. Uh, it was a big goal of mine ever since I can remember. So to be on that team was extra special. Um, and then playing well at Evian and got my first top 10 in a major was also a highlight. Um, and honestly, playing in Japan again mm -hmm. uh, was an amazing feeling, you know, being a defending champion. So that's obviously my first time doing that. And just going back to Japan, just so many good vibes. So uh, nice to end the year like that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.